our internet. I'm sorry I don't have a proper video to show you this week, but I have just been so busy. I've got loads of stuff filmed, I just haven't had time to edit any of it. Uh, the last few weeks I had family visiting over the long Waitangi weekend, which filled up that weekend completely. I then had a friend visit for a few days, which took up pretty much all of the next weekend. Both really fun times, but didn't leave me free time to edit. I've been out a lot during the week as well, so it's been like go from work into town and then home and go straight to bed. <laughs> so no time even to get in a bit of work in the evenings. And uh, this weekend I spent all of yesterday at a fabric design workshop, which was really, really fun. Had a lot of fun, learnt a lot. But again, no editing time. I did think about taking my camera to the workshop, but we were playing with paint and inks and things, and I didn't want to get paint all over my camera. And considering I got paint over everything else I had with me, I think that was a good choice. I made some cool fabrics though. I'll, this is my favourite of the ones I made. I thought that turned out really, really well. We were stamping and stenciling and things, and this was a combination of stamps and stencils. I, I really like it. And of course, you know, if there's anything creative I can do, which I can make a rainbow out of. This is my attempt at a rainbow <laughs> fabric. Again, I think it worked out pretty well, considering it was it was a bit experimental. I was just trying to get rainbow colours onto the paint roller. It kind of worked. And then there was a few just little scraps we were playing with and layering up different patterns. This one I was quite pleased with. And this one was actually, it was one that I didn't like when I first did it and then I added a few more layers on top and it got better. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that too. I have uh, so many loose threads because we were tearing the fabric to make little scraps. I have this whole bundle of other ones which are less favourites but they're still going to be useful as just fabrics. So I won't show you all of them because it would take too long. <laughs> And I don't want to have to edit this video. <laughs> anyway, I do have some cool stuff coming up as soon as I get time to edit it. Um, Little to Mitch and I went over to Akaroa uh, earlier in the summer and we filmed all sorts of cool stuff over there. So there's several videos that I need to edit from that. I've been doing all sorts of cool crafty stuff. I finished my sugary do quilt finally. So I've got a video on that to show you on the quilting. That was the, the massive one that I was basting on the kitchen table. I also did a bit of playing around with some mini Christmas quilts and I know it's February now but it's never too early to start with Christmas quilts for next year is it? So there's a couple of videos coming from those. So lots to look forward to. I've just got to find a free weekend when I can just sit down and do some serious editing because, you know, these little five minute videos might not seem like much, but they take a few hours each to edit. So they're not fast to do. <laughs> they're fun though. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Kakite Ano Internet.